Uh, it is quite an alarming uh, finding with three weeks to go. What can be done at this stage? Well, actually, let me say that uh, the way that it's portrayed is not entirely correct because there are two other elements which need to be put alongside the voluntary contributions, which is that current policies are actually taking us onto a better trajectory to keep us below two degrees warming. And the report contains within it many new and existing opportunities to bridge the gap. And so although the INDCs, as they're known on their own, are not sufficient, they are flanked by many other initiatives and policies that are already ongoing. So our prospect is that, yes, we have to do a lot more, but the ambition and the ambitious levels of these uh, inputs are certainly a very positive rather than alarming input to the next three weeks' discussions. So we are moving in the right uh, direction. However, the ambition, this first universal, comprehensive uh, deal that would be signed in Paris uh, three weeks from now remains uh, uh, a very grand ambition. Do you believe it will actually happen? We have a very uh, strong picture now that the dynamic that has been set in motion uh, going into Paris is something that we have never seen before. It is unprecedented that around the world in a universal acclamation of we need to tackle climate change, both least developed countries and developed countries are taking a good, long, hard look at themselves. And so the Paris setting is one that is the beginning of a process rather than everything being decided at just one meeting. That dynamic, that ambition is something which I feel we can build on and which the report itself substantially demonstrates can lead to solutions that will, in the end, keep us below 2 degrees and even 1.5 degrees centigrade over this century. How urgent is it that the world acts in that respect? It is extremely urgent. And one of the, I think, most compelling arguments is that if we act early, it not only costs us less, but it causes less disruption to our economies, to society, and in the end, to everyday life. Jacqueline McClay, thank you very much indeed for being with us this evening.